What's happening everybody and welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. I want to talk about a few things and today this video is going to be about how to properly take care of puppies if mom isn't producing milk. So before we get on with the video, don't forget man, make sure you stop what you're doing. Hit the subscribe button and on the side of the subscribe button, click that little bell. They're going to give you a few options. Hit all that way you'll receive all notifications and every time we upload one of these educational videos, it gives you a notification, y'all. That's very important. You got to be notified when the videos come through. We dropping jewels after jewels after jewels, man. You don't want to miss it. So, after the C-section, Chloe did not have any milk, all right? So... She, she ate her diamond puppy throughout the whole pregnancy like she was supposed to. Um, she was healthy throughout the pregnancy. The puppies was all healthy. I have to say, this is the first time that I've seen 11 puppies come out of a mom where not one, not one of the puppies were lacking. They didn't have a small one. Um, they did have like, you know, genetically small pups. But none were like small as in malnutrition or just um, just lacking substance. Every single one of them was thick. And you can tell even by looking at mom right now as she's walking to go use the bathroom or when she stands up. These 11 puppies have drained every ounce of nutrition out of mom as possible. So upon um, C-section... The vet noticed um, after all the puppies was out, after they were clean, after they were breathing and moving around good, the vet noticed that she didn't have any milk. So they were trying to get the puppies to latch. The puppies were latching, but they were releasing. We was pinching um, her teats and nothing was coming out. So they was like, look, you know, she don't have any milk. So the vet gave her a shot of oxytocin which if you're a breeder, um, you know what oxytocin is. If you're not, oxytocin is actually a medication that you can give to your dog to make her push and flush pretty much whatever's inside of her to help flush. Like if you have a puppy that's stuck, you give a shot of oxytocin and it, it, it helps you push, give you that boost of energy and that um, extra push to pretty much flush whatever's in you out. And it also releases your milk. So if you got a dog that's milk isn't falling, you give it a shot of oxytocin and the milk drops. Well, being that she was producing absolutely no milk, the doc, um, what he gave, one shot there at the vet and he sent her home with two shots, right? Mm -hmm. To give one the next day and one the day after. And he also gave, you got the calcium tablets. He also gave a, um, you can film on a puppy, babe, I'm gonna go and get it. He also gave a bottle of calcium tablets to give her three times a day. Look, three tablets per day. Um, well, it's Pet Cal. He got the label over it, but it's Pet Cal calcium tablets. And this is something that I normally give mom this is like um, a prenatal vitamin almost. So while mom's pregnant, I normally throw one in the food every day or every other day. A lot of times, you know, you can bring your dog in to do an x-ray. On the x-ray, the vet can see the bone density of the pups and he can tell if they need calcium or not. Like you can look at the x-ray itself and if it's, um, if it's like a very faint image of the puppy, then that, that tells you that the bones, that the bone structure might not be up to par. So he'll have you start um, administering calcium. So every day you give a calcium tablet. Um, but it also helps, of course, produce milk. So every day after the C-section for three days, she got a shot of oxytocin and she was taking three calcium tablets per day. But you gotta think about this. I just said for three days. So that means three days she was not producing milk. So what are the pups gonna do? Pups gotta eat. The pups have to eat every two hours. 
and they have to be white clean because when mom first comes home from the c-section she's not licking the puppies she's not making them use the bathroom she's not making them clean and look i'm gonna show you something i i purchased this y'all i purchased this i know you guys see a lot of it on the internet i purchased this to feed pups if mom wasn't really doing a thing you guys see it on the internet never worked <laughs> i actually was gonna do a video on it me and my wife tried never worked um I, they've never been able to get any milk out of it so I, i've tried to make the holes bigger <clears throat> i've tried everything with it and um it looks like on the video people are having a lot of success with it but i i haven't so just an honest review on it, I, I had absolutely no success. So I'm gonna spotlight um, Aunt Charlene, Uncle Merle's wife. Uncle Merle a little bit too, um, but mainly Aunt Charlene. Um, but I'm gonna explain to it a little bit more um, of how we got to that. So Dallas, who is the, um, the father, owner, to Chloe has a full-time job, but he's also a breeder. And at his job, they didn't approve for him to take off. Like a lot of us would when we have such a high profile litter. So his job was kind of battling as if what's more important, your job or your dog or your litter. So it kind of put him in an awkward position. So automatically he reached out to me. So he was like, B, you know, I can't take off. Would you whelp the litter? So I was like, man, absolutely. You know, I'll, I'll whelp it, I don't mind whelping it. And then I thought about it, I was like, well, I got a job and I'm working. So I knew that I could take care of it, but with her not having any milk, I couldn't, I couldn't dedicate um, 12 hours or 12 feedings per day, basically. Um, because 24 hour period, you break that in half, that's 12 feedings. Six at the minimum, if you stretch it. But the puppies, they crying, man, they wanna eat. So I reached out to Aunt Charlene. I didn't call Uncle Merlin, y'all, cause he don't run nothing. I reached out to Aunt Charlene and Aunt Charlene was like, yeah, I'll take care of them. So y'all, Uncle Merle. What? What you gotta say, Uncle Merle? Aunt Charlene. What you gotta say? I ain't gonna say nothing. All right, then. My wife's taking care of them, not me. That's what, right. What you said, Uncle Merle? I said my wife is taking care of the puppies, not me. Okay, so y'all right. heard it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? No lies here. No lies here. So, Listen how important this is, y'all. Every two hours, she made formula and she bottle fed these puppies. 11 puppies. It was taking 45 minutes per feeding. Not per puppy, but per session of feeding. So that means no sleep, man. No sleep. Good thing. Uncle Merlin let her take a nap one time per day. So she would get about two hours of sleep per day. And then the killer part about it is you think, okay, well, you got two hours in between, but you got 11 puppies with a novice mom. So you're not only feeding them, but you got to make sure she's not stepping on them. 11 puppies is a lot. All right. 11 puppies is a, watch, a lot to watch and they're healthy puppies. So they're moving all over the whelping box. Mom, mom can duck a few, but you know how hard it is to duck 11? So this very seat where I'm sitting at inside this box is where Aunt Charlene would sit down in this whelping box and watch this litter. Y'all, honestly, 11 puppies right now to be alive and as strong as they are right now, 
it's truly a miracle. It, it's a miracle. And, and I can honestly say that if they were under my care, I can't say that all of them would be alive. I, I can't I can't I can't get on camera and lie and say that all of them would be alive or if not not alive they wouldn't be as strong as they are today and I can pick up I can pick up any one of these pups any one of them and they're extremely healthy every one of them you can you can pinch the coat of a puppy and if it stays standing up that means they're dehydrated Every one of them is hydrated, they're strong and active. And three days later now, her milk fell. After the shots of oxytocin, after the calcium, her milk started falling. So now she has milk. It's okay, baby. She has milk and they're staying on mom more. And now Aunt Charlene is having to feed less. But the first three days or first two and a half days of every two hours feeding these pups, the dedication is unbelievable. And and y'all, it's this ain't it ain't even really dedication to um, to the movement. That's passion. Like it takes a real passion to be able to do that kind of stuff. Like you just have to love animals. You almost got to sacrifice yourself 100% and say, like, I don't care if I sleep. I don't care what happens to me. These dogs are going to live, and they're going to eat, and they're going to be healthy. So major, major shout-out to her, y'all. Um, it won't be the first time y'all hear her name, I promise you. Because uh, she's probably going to love all my letters. I just haven't told her yet. <laughs> So y'all, I ain't gonna say it too loud, but she'll be welcome our litters. And, and look, look, I told y'all from the beginning, remember when I said I was gonna allow Merle to come into Royal Kennels? I said, I'm not allowing it for him. Remember in the video, I said it's Aunt Charlene who we really wanted. We just had to go through Merle. <laughs> you feel me? So it's chess, not checkers. And believe me, our, our, our welcome is going to be done here. They don't know it yet. Let me grab another one. But I'm telling y'all, like, look. Look, man. Look yeah, at the is, thickness. This small one. Yeah, this is a small one. Not small in girth, but more compact. Um, I, I think this is my favorite. It's, it's something about this color with that black mask that just... It's like captivating my heart, man. Um, so she's definitely one of my favorites. And him, he's, this dude's out of this world, man. And look how big he is. He's, he's nice, man. Super, super nice. Um, and she's, she's a great mom, y'all. She's a great mom. Now that, now that her milk, now that her milk has dropped, She's able to really do her thing as a mom. And she's really thriving, you know? She's really thriving as a mom now. Like she's making it. But just, just in the future, just for like a little recap, if, if your dog is not producing milk, make sure you keep you a bottle of oxytocin on hand and as a prenatal vitamin, you can still use prenatal vitamins uh, for ladies at Walmart, but I would suggest give these calcium tablets. Um, calcium tablets are real, real good for that process. Um, and she was only feeding three tablets daily because she didn't have any milk. Now, now that she's dropping, you can probably um, cut the dosage in half or just drop one tablet per day now that the milk is falling. Um, but to kickstart it, three tablets per day. Um, and and that's basically it, man. And, and feeding every, what's the right, it? The right formula, man. Because I'm telling you, that's what picked these puppies up. I could have sworn I was making this video. I was just about to say that. 
until until he was I was rudely interrupted by Merlin. Yeah, I'm just joking. Um, you're right. The right formula. The formula that Jolene did the video of um, about a year ago. Um, the ingredients of this formula. Who, um, wait, who made the formula? What? Who made the formula? Jolene. Who's, who's Jolene? Oh, oh my God. My wife. Appreciate you. My lovely wife. She's an amazing woman. She is. She's a truly amazing woman, and I'm very blessed to have her in my life. Amen. And we're blessed to have her in Royal Kennels. Yes, that's what I, I just said her name for everyone to identify. You know what I'm saying? And y'all knew exactly who I was talking about. No, they know me uh, as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I'm not going to be getting on Uncle Murrah and then you try to shine on me. I don't know if you're trying to take up for him or what, but I'm making this video. Good day. You know I mean? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yes, my lovely wife, the same formula that she did the video on. The ingredients of the formula is the goat milk, um, original organic Greek yogurt, the, the whole yogurt. That's what it is, right, mm -hmm. wifey? Yes. The whole yogurt, um, vitamin D, eggs, um, um, Kero syrup. And um, water. And distilled, distilled water. water. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a video I'll put it in the description box. Um, I don't really do the cards on the on the uh, videos anymore because I'm gonna upload it straight from the phone. But I'll put it in the description box so you can go ahead and get the link of that uh, particular formula. That formula is amazing. It is. It really is. And. And it's a key to the success, no doubt about it. It's a key to the success. But I don't care what you have. If it's not administered properly, it ain't going to work. So it's got to be executed and administered properly. So I just wanted to make this uh, quick video to let you guys know how to properly care for puppies. If mom isn't, um, isn't producing any milk, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful night, and God bless y'all.